welcome to episode 94 of Madhouse Militia Presents. We wish to give thanks to the following people for helping make the show go, such as Dwight the Janitor, Wasted Memory for RogueServer.com and his Mumble Server, Dragomir for the Corndown at Corndown.com and FreeSpeechMotherfucker.com, and Icarus from Dwight the Janitor's YouTube chat for ideas during our show last week. We also wish to thank our patrons, such as Jason O, Ryan T, Dharma Wheelies, Travis B, Gold Rust, Gordo, Parkman, Crispy808, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, for Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts, 666, Jesus Paynus, and Turbo, the High Level Squirrel. Yeah, that's a tongue twister and a half, I'll tell you what. Hey, this was a great show we did on Friday. There's tons and tons of calls. We did it uh, 15 minutes over and it ended up being about an hour and 45 minutes to an hour and 50 minutes, somewhere around there. And you can find us at immoralhole.com, travelswithmiriam.com, patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. YouTube, we're at Madhouse Militia. On uh, TikTok, we're at Immoral Hole. If you want to contribute to the show, you can visit immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. You can listen to the live show Friday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific on rogueserver.com or immoraljuice.com. If you want to do calls with us, look at the Mumble page on the site and you'll find the instructions on how to get into the show right there. Yeah, this is Tasha. How may I help you? Hey, why well, you got an attitude like that? Why you call? Why you answer the phone? Just, just straight up attitude. You got to work into that. Huh? You got to ease me. You gotta ease me into your attitude. I don't know you. How may I help you, sir? That's better. That's better. I'd like to page a guest, please. Huh? I, I your phone said I could have a guest paged. Um. Yes. Who would you like to speak to? I need Jerome to meet me in shower one. Our shower is oh. ready. Okay. And I'll if he's got, you, I'll tell him to bring you. Him. Yep, yep. And when he comes to the front, just tell him to knock three times and he'll bring the rubber duckies and the boots. All right. And tell him to get some of those used tires from the tire install place. Tell him to bring some of those. Okay. Okay. You you don't you don't believe any of this, do you, ma'am? Give me one second. Hello. Oh Jesus. The woman's starting to think. Thank you for calling love. This is Lauren. Hello there, dear. Hello? Hello. Love, she's 75. Uh, okay, well, how many have you? Yeah, Tire hi. Shop? Can you hear me? Uh, What's yeah, that? I can now. Okay, I'm I'm trying to figure this out because my phone, I'm in the shower. Mm-hmm. I'm in, I'm in shower two, and I dropped my iPhone down the down the drain. It's like down in the drain where the water goes, so I'm yelling down the drain at it. I just tell, I just told, I just told uh, Siri to dial you guys. I, I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, what drain? The floor drain where the water goes. You know where you're taking the shower and it goes down to the floor and then it goes down the tube. Like it's down there for some reason the little strainer thing was missing and the, so my iPhone went down. Oh my gosh, are you dressed? My, not right now. I, I like I literally just stepped out of the shower and I turned okay, it off. So uh, I, I'm like on my hands and knees in here yelling down the drain. I got wet knees. Okay, get dressed and open the door, and I'm gonna come help you. Okay, do you have? A, is there a handyman or something on duty? I like I yes, don't know how this yes. happened. Okay, so like, but I do when I have I to? Get, like, can I can I just put a shirt on because if I have to get back down on my hands and knees, then my jeans are just gonna get wet. I'll have wet knees. Just get dressed, uh, cover all your stuff, and then we'll come in and help you. All right, I'll put a shirt and my underwear is on, and uh, then you guys come help me. I'll open the door. All righty, that's fine. Just All right. step out and just All call right. for All me, right. okay? Okay. JJ Zamba, it's time I help you. Hi. Um, I accidentally forgot that the uh, the trailer door was open on my truck. And I just, I just dumped a bunch of jars of chocolate syrup all over the parking lot. Uh, okay, um, 
Like, cause I I fell asleep last, I fell asleep earlier today, and I had opened it up because I was checking the I was checking the load to make sure that everything was nice and tight, and I took a couple of the straps off that were in the back, and I was like, man, I was like, I'm, I'll deal with this another another time. So I went in the cab and I went to sleep, and I was like, oh, my eight hours mandatory leave time is done, and then I fired it up and I took off a little too fast, and I had pallets. There were the Schmuckers, the Schmuckers syrup, the, the chocolate syrup in the glass jars, and they shattered all over the goddamn parking lot. Okay. Um, so I'm just, uh, I'm just letting well, you know I'm 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 about a mile and a half down the road. I'm just letting you know somebody's gonna have to go clean that up because that might puncture some tires. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. But they're gonna need they're gonna need probably a shovel and probably like like garbage cans or something because it's a lot. It's not one or two jars. It's it's a whole goddamn pallet. Okay. Where 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 and was then it? Then I thought at? you guys were in it. Uh-huh. Back there, you know where we park for sleepy times. Yeah, but like, is it way in Overnight the back? parking. Or? It's kind of is towards it? the front, but I I thought you guys were gonna be mad at me and start chasing me like Dukes of Hazard style, so I throw a handful of tacks out my window as well as I escaped. Oh, okay. Um, no, nah, we'll clean it up. Okay, because, yeah, because I, I, I'm afraid because the FBI watches me when I make sleepy times. I, I was so mad. I was work, I was working on it, though. I poured some oil out, too. They call me Data. I got my comeuppance in the movie The Goonies, which you probably don't know because you're, you're, you're such a youngster and all. But, like, I had the slick shoes. I had all of it. I had all of it, baby. Okay, well, yeah, we'll get someone to clean it up. I, I punched an octopus in the face one time. All right. Oh, Springdale. Hi. I'm out here in my truck, and there's a guy out here who says he works for you, but he's trying to hand me some sort of juice sample. Uh, yeah, uh, what's he look like? Well, he's wearing a clown suit. That's why I'm concerned. He's wearing a clown suit? Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, wh- where are you parked at? Over here by the diesel aisle. I got the big red truck that says Big Trucking on the side. Hey, go find Lori. I gotta take care of a guy. He's out here trying to jack around. There's some damn guy in a clown suit. offering. Clown costume. Clown costume? Yeah, he's about to... <laughs> do, you, do you know where... You, can you see him, like, right now? Well, yeah, he's trying to get in my truck. He keeps jiggling my handle, but luckily it's locked. But he's got, like, a big old grin on his face. And he's got a six-pack in his hand. It says... It says immoral juice on the side of it. You sell immoral juices there? Nope. Uh, can you see... Can you see me right now? I'm walking out here with a cell phone. I got a big old guy right behind me. Oh, yeah, I'm waving. Here, I'll honk my horn. What's that? You hear it? I'm honking my horn. You hear it? No, I don't hear your horn. Wait, which location is this? This is the one in Springdale. Oh, this ain't the right one. Yeah, I followed you. I called the police. You hear it now? Nope, you're in the wrong location. Yeah, you called the lo- wrong location, man. You need to call the police where you're at. You you don't have any clowns over there now, do you? Nope. <laughs> hey, let me put the clown on. Hey. Yeah, man, you might want to call the police. Put a sell you. All right, buddy. Sorry. Get that phone. Open the door. Hey, now, some juices. They're really flavorful. Come on. Open up that door. Come on, buddy. Hey. Hey, well, hey man. You, yeah. Go ahead and call the police. I've got <laughs> several different flavors. Open up. No, man. Go away. I don't want any of that. Ah! All right. You're going to like this. It's made with special milky goo. <laughs> and very nutritious. Come on. You want to try this out, buddy? Come on. Give us a chance. I work here for this company, and we are out trying to get everybody to try this new flavor, Milky Goo. 
Love 635 Al Marks. I'll just say, William, how may I help you? Man, is, why are his nipples uncovered? That I don't know. Oh, sorry, you're there. I, yes, sir. Sorry about that. Let me put my brother on. He He's taking his shirt off for some reason. Hey, hello? Yes. Tell him. we having this argument. Tell him. Like, I write it online. This is the all-new truck stop. Tell him he can take his pants and shirt off, too. Well, that I, wouldn't say, I, that I wouldn't advise to do here at the truck stop, sir. I'm out here in the parking lot. I'm taking it off. I'm taking it uh, off. You take yours off, too. All right. Here we go. Okay. Anything I can do for you, gentlemen? Yeah, come over here. Take my, take my jacket off and jerk it. All right. Yeah, have a good night. 607 Loves, how can I help you? Hello? Hi. Uh, why, why do... Thank you for calling Loves and John's World. This is Christy. Can I uh, help you? Yeah, hi. I'm, Hello. I got, I got, I'm stuck in the hole. You're what? I got, I'm stuck in the hole. Where? I'm in shower two. There was a warm hole. And I inserted into it. And now I'm stuck. I think I expanded. When I went into the hole, I think I got in. I got engorged or something. It expanded. Um. There's a hole in the shower. One of the uh, okay. one of the tile things on the wall. It fell off, and then there was a hole. And against my better judgment, I inserted, and now I'm stuck in the hole. Oh, I don't know. No, I'm telling you. It's not a I don't know situation. I'm telling you. What shower? Two. Number two. I need someone to come in and put a finger into me so I don't, I'll be less excited and I'll let go. That's why I was so bad. So hard. So hard right now. Here's Lizzie, sir. So you get Stephen, how may I help you? Hi. Hey. How? Where's the ladder? Somebody moved the ladder. I got up on top, and now I don't know where the ladder went so I could get back it down. Do what? I, I'm on top. I can't get back down. Some asshole took my ladder and moved it. Where are you? I'm on top of the fucking truck stop, man. I'm up here. Someone moved my ladder. Are you on top of the building? I saw. Yeah, I saw a cop come through the parking lot, and I threw my weed up on top of the fucking place, and then he left, and I went to go up and retrieve it, and someone was playing funny ha-ha fucking jokes and took my ladder. Uh. I need to know where they took it, or somebody needs to get another one to put it up here so I can get the get the F down. I got places to be. Give me one second. It should be a black ladder test at a building towards the east side. Do you see it up there? Yeah, but that's that's but it's it's up. It's in the up position, I think. I saw it and like it's like locked, like people aren't allowed to get up here. Oh, it's locked up there too? Yeah, like you're not allowed to get down. Like if I climbed down it I was gonna have to drop down like some ten feet. Hmm. Give me one second. Okie dokie. I just smoke this weed while I'm up here. You guys get your stuff together. Ah. Here's that terrible. It's fine. I, I killed it on my side. Madhouse militia. I killed, it, I killed it on my side. So they don't hear weed. Gotta smoke a big bong. Good evening. Thank you for calling the Wedgwood Hotel and Spiderland Shuttle Property. Rishi area, the front desk. How may I assist you? Hi, I, I have a problem. You know, uh, you know the hot tub. Yes. I. Uh, this is rather embarrassing. I forgot I had brought uh, a couple of big baggies worth of. Uh, they're for my diabetes. For they're like for gluten or uh, yeah for for the glucose. And I put them in my swim trunks, and I forgot about it. And then I sat in the hot tub, and now the hot tub is basically a big soup bowl of Jello. 
Oh, uh, so so it's, you are playing with red, us currently, red, or yeah, it's yeah, yeah, it's all red and orange, and like when I try to put my feet in, it won't let me put my feet in the water. It's 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 basically jello now. I apologize. What what room are you staying in? Uh, I'm up here on the fourth floor. On the fourth floor, what would be the room number and the name on the booking? Uh, the fourth floor, number 414, and the booking is under Johnson. Mm -hmm. uh, we do not have the room 414. Okay, well, you have to look it up by my name then, Johnson, last name. Thank you. And first name would be? Uh, it'd be Donald. Okay. Well, um, yes, we don't have Donald Johnson staying with us or room 414 in-house. You don't have me in that room or I'm not staying here? Which, which is it? I'm not understanding. We don't have either Donald Johnson staying with us or the room number. <laughs> See, that the, you the problem is I usually... Usually, uh, the only person I'm allowed to speak to is my wife, and she treats me like I'm stupid. Can you talk to me like I'm stupid? Have a good night, sir. This is Karen. Help me help you. Hello? 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 Hi. Hi. What happened? Fuck. Oh, this bitch. Hello? She Hello? Playing. Hello? The hotel. Hi there, this is Cordero's Restaurant. Robert speaking, how may I help you? Oh, oh. Hi, Robert. Um, I just I just want to make sure my uh, my email just came through. Is there anybody to verify that? Uh, an email? Yeah, I'm over here at the Teddy Makichu Indian Restaurant. Yeah? And we, I just emailed you uh, six cockroaches and an attachment, and I want to make sure that you got them. Cockroaches? Yes. I, I I'm not sure what you're talking about. An email with cockroaches? No, I I did not. Yeah, I I did it. I did it as a PDF attachment. Yeah, I want to make sure that the cockroaches made it and are in the kitchen. Uh, I, I'm not sure what you're talking about, sir. Okay, you know the bugs, the ones that'll survive a whole nuclear holocaust. Like if it came down to that. Yeah, you know, obviously. Cockroaches? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I emailed six of them in a PDF yeah. attachment to you guys. I want to make sure that they're 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 there doing their work. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm not going to continue this conversation. That doesn't make any sense to me. What? Why? Are you stupid? Do you know how technology works or what? Are you an idiot? You're sending an email with cockroaches? Yeah, th thanks for your phone call. Yeah, you. if you knew the technology, you wouldn't be spouting off. Thank you so much for calling. This is Mr. Fred. Sorry, you want to Hi, I had a question about dining there. Yeah, for sure. Can I see the food before I put it in my belly? Um, I'm not sure if it's possible. Um, just give me a second, please. I'm gonna check well, for you. What happens when you put it on the table? Sorry, what was that? When you put the food on the table? Yes. Am I allowed to to look at it, or do I have uh, to pay extra to look at the food before um, I put it in my mouth? Just give me a quick second, please. Be right back. Oh. Oh, you'll be a huge fan oh. of Sisomu Hoshi's Sushi at the Sandbar. Be here between five I can't look at the food. <laughs> what does he need to check? Oh, he's yeah, going to turn on the lights. Sushi. All the lights are eaten in absolute darkness. <laughs> Why have I stumped someone Hoshi. with this? Come on. Come back. Hello? Sumo Duhoshi. Baby, come back. Can I look at the food? Hello? Okay, that's long enough. Hello? Hi. Uh, Hi. When I, when I was there, I ate the food. Uh, I had a little question regarding the chicken dish because it came with the chicken testicles. And I, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to eat those or not. Okay, one sec. Oh, I can't. I I wanted to see the food before I ate, but. Hello. Hi. Yeah. I. How can I help you? I was there. I was. I had a, a question regarding the chicken testicles that I consumed while I was there. Uh, I wasn't I'm sure sorry? I was supposed to eat them. The chicken testicles. Okay. Yeah. Chicken. Chicken testicles. 
Yeah. Uh, there are no chicken sex testicles, ma'am. Uh, I'm sorry, I, what was I, what was the issue? Well, I was there. I wanted to see the food before I ate it, but I was told that wasn't that wasn't part of the deal there. Am I right? Well, you're not. I'm not supposed to look what I was eating, and well, my the person I was dining with, they said, "Oh, you know, you shouldn't eat the chicken testicles," but I'd already eaten everything on my plate. Uh, that, there are no chicken testicles. I I promise you, the chicken was made out of chicken breast. <laughs> okay, but but then why did it taste that way? I'm sorry, I I don't know what you mean. What table were you sitting it at? Tasted. Oh, I I don't know. It was so dark, I couldn't see. I ha I'm very hard of sight. Mhm. Mm so I, yeah, I don't did you know. Count did you come to dine dine with us today? Oh no, it was it was a little while ago, but I just remembered. Oh, I, I forgot to call them again, and it's you know a Friday night, and I was reminiscing about the past and and the the good mm -hmm. time I had with my friend there. But I was so concerned because after I ate it, I felt so weird, and and the flavor. Oh God, the flavor! It it tasted it. it oh, you know what I mean? The flavor. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, actually. Um, we promised the chicken are made out of chicken breast. Yeah, but these were like the, the testicles, you know? They were round. Man, I don't know, uh, I couldn't see what I was eating. Also, um, also, you know. Can I, can I have know, a name, please? Yeah. It's Keith. Yeah, it was under what name, the reservation? Yeah, Keith Poke. Keith Poke, can you spell it out for it's me? Pocket. It's Pocket, it's Pocket. My my great granddad, he was he was a pickpocket and they they named him because he didn't he was an orphan and he didn't have a last name. So they, they changed his name to Pocket. But you know, we go by Poke because because everyone thinks that we're pickpockets. Well, I'm not a pickpocket. I didn't take those chicken testicles home in my pocket. No, sir, I didn't. And I totally paid for everything, I swear. But they... Sure, sure. Thank you for calling. Oh. Oh, what do I do? Hello? 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 Oh, I'll call back. Yeah, the pants like tip book. Thank you for calling Lowe's 242. This is Butch. Well, hi, Butch. Hello. How yeah, you doing there, you? boy? I'm well, doing good. How can I help problem. you? I, problem. Well, I, I was driving back here to go to the, uh, you know, what they, kind of the bunk, what they call it, the bunk, the, the bunk parking there so we can sleep for the night. You know, we do our mandatory off-road time. Uh-huh. Well, we don't have any of that here. But, no, you don't? Okay, good. No, we the last we time that have... happened... Well, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll let you finish. No, you go ahead. Uh, we don't have any designated parking for, like, sleeping. If you find a spot, that's that's you find a spot. But there's yeah, no yeah, that, but parking that, I'm, by I'm the just, scale. I'm just saying that's... Yeah, I'm just saying that's where I'm at. And unfortunately, I guess I didn't check the tire pressure of the last time I made a stop, and the, I won't be goddamned if my goddamn front left tire came off. And uh, I wanted to know what 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 is it the the policy I guess here? Like, is it you find a tire, take a tire type situation, like you do to you know give a penny, take a penny? No. <laughs> Well, then we got a problem here because this guy is getting real uppity. I tried to explain the policy to him, you know, find a tire, take a tire. So I found his tire and I took his tire. <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> Absolutely not. Listen, he he was he was out cold. He had the engine running and everything, but, you know, he didn't hear me out there. I had one of them DeWalt uh, impact fucking drill, you know, the drills, the real heavy one. I took his uh, back tire off of one of his trailers. I mean, he's got another one. I mean, they're double turret, they're double goddamn trailer tires. And I took one, and now he's all up and he's all pissed off. But I told him about the policy here. 
We are. Well, I'm gonna bring him. I'm gonna bring him inside, and you're gonna have to explain it to him that it's tough goddamn luck, you know, finders keepers over here. <laughs> okay. That's that's fine. Like, I can put him on the phone if you don't want to confront him, but like physically face to face, he's being a real asshole. I'll put him on. Here, take the phone, boy. Here, you explain to him what you got a problem with, and he'll tell you. I told you already. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello there. Hi. I got a problem. Yeah. Yeah. This guy won't hold, let me in on. his truck. Hold on one second. I got to help this gentleman, okay? I, I got to give you my juice. Come on. Open your door. <laughs> hey, get out of my truck, motherfucker. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing there? Take my juice. Oh, yeah. Take it. Take it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just be to my boss, okay? No, I need to talk to you about my juice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here, take your phone back, you silly goose. Uh, hi. He just he just he just spit in my mouth. It's gross. What did he do? He said that's what I he spit in my mouth. Well, did you swallow? I told him to get him to leave. He, no, it's still it's still on my tongue though. I want conservative as evidence. Okay, come in here and spit in my buddy's mouth, and he'll hold it for you till court. I'll come spit in your buddy's butthole. <laughs> You're too funny. This guy, no, this Downey guy, he's a menace to society. I'm telling you. You guys should have better security around here. Spit in my mouth and we'll do a deed. I'm not going to spit in your mouth, you sick little bastard. Here, I'll put my panty down. You only have one panties instead of panties? Oh. I only have one leg. <laughs> oh my god. He said he had a flat tire. He said he thought it was a fighting tire. Take a tire. This is Matt. How can I help you? I, I, I try to explain to this guy about the find a tire, take a tire situation. And, I mean, he must be new. He doesn't know anything about that. But I pissed off one of the other drivers. Okay. I took I took a tire off of his trailer because okay. I needed one. Mine's more important. The trailer's not important, but I have one missing on my front driver's side. So I took it, and, and I was on my truck, and now he's all pissy. And he keeps wanting to spit in my mouth. Okay. I don't know why you're involved. Here, I'll open my mouth. I don't I want don't you to open you... your mouth. No. Yeah, come on. Love's Travel Stop 614. Is that are you speaking? How may I direct your call? Uh, does someone Love? with intelligence, please? Thank you. Would you like the tire shop? My manager? Well, if they have intelligence, that's all I'm looking for. Uh, I can I can tell by your slow ability to answer a phone that I'm not dealing with the. Uh... Host two ten. How can I help you today? Hello. Hi. Um, I will take one uh peanut butter and strawberry jam sandwich. Uh, the crust cut off. Um. And then cut diagonally because I don't want to eat the whole. Hi, computer repair. How may I help you? Hi. Um, I was calling to get a second opinion on a computer repair project. Um, I got some really bad advice, or what I perceive as bad advice, from Geek Squad, and now my computer is mm -hmm. uh, in a bad way. Um, what's wrong with it? Sorry, hang on. Well, I took I took it into into Sorry, Geek Squad to because it. Oh, it's fine. Uh, it kept doing a, a blue screen and restarting, and I took it into Geek Squad, and they had it for for two weeks. And uh, mm -hmm. all they could tell, they told me that it was dirty. Like they were, they they were like, oh, it's dirty, and it's going to cost you five hundred and fifty nine dollars to uh, to be cleaned. And I told him, I was like, well, I don't have that type of money right now. And the guy kind of brought me away from everyone else. He said, well, you need to clean it. And that's when he told me. 
to uh, put it in, like to take the the side. I guess there's a side case the that shows all the inside things. And he said, put it in the dishwasher, the dishwasher on just a, a light rinse, and to to leave it in there. And so I put it in there, and I ran it on a normal cycle, um, but now it won't it won't turn on. Just the you put just the plastic piece on the bottom in the dishwasher, or the whole thing. No, the uh, I took that part out because he said that was sensitive, and I put the like the. The, what is this a t uh a tower is that what they call it I think that's what he said it was into into the dishwasher and then i I put the the little soap packet in there like normal like I was washing dishes and then I put it in there on the on the light cycle yeah I'm not sure I would talk to uh so, uh a water but but, but now it doesn't but now it doesn't turn on and i need yeah to I would talk to someone that specializes in water damage. No, not water damage. Like I, I guess it needs to be finished cleaning. I mean, I've never heard of a computer having a blue screen because there's dust in it. Uh, he said it was. He. I don't know if he said dust, but he said it was dirty. I I can't imagine he anything this, else. This is how. This is how you getting clean, into this it. Is how you clean it. So, yeah. Yeah, I and when I when I plugged I, it I, in, like sparks, sparks, like like there were smoke and sparks. Yeah, I I'm sorry, I and, can't help and it, help you with this it, issue. It smells like when you. I have to go. It smells and tastes like when you put sorry, pennies enough. in your mouth. Okay. Thank you for choosing Love and Bonnie, Mexico. My name is Sisu's Operations Manager. How are you? Hi. Uh, yeah, we got a situation out here by the diesel. There's a guy. He's got syrup on his hands, and it's now all over the uh, the handle for the filler. It's very okay, sticky. what pump are you on? Uh, three, two, two on the diesel. Pump three on the diesel. He's, he's going. He's going all around. He's taking all the handles. He's putting his sticky hands on them. I don't want to touch it. I don't know that it's like syrup. I don't know what it is. Like he, he, he was very, very happy. He was very ecstatic for moments. But he was he was walking around and going through every 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 nozzle. He said, okay, I'm, 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 I'm the I'm the I'm the syrup man. That's what he keeps yelling and screaming. I'm a little scared, honestly, but I thought it was nothing, you know, serious, but then I noticed he was going to every single one of the nozzles and touching them. Like, real weird. Like, he like he was sticking it down his pants. I don't know what kind of business you run here, but I'm a little concerned for my safety, you know. And maybe he works for you, because he was saying, oh, I work here, I work here, look. And then he puts it down his pants and he sprays. No, I have I nobody outside I he was spraying, right like, fuel. I don't know if it was no, I have or nobody if he was peeing himself. So it doesn't work for us because I have nobody outside right now. Okay, but who's this guy then? I don't know, but I'll get someone out there to check out the nozzle, the pumps on the diesel side. Yeah, he was putting it in his pants though. Hey, look at this! Look at me! I'm peeing my pants. Look, I peed. Pee. Oh my God! Look, look, I'm pulling a nozzle down my pants. Here, take the phone. Talk to these people. Pee. I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk to. Yeah. Pilot. My name is Miracle. Hi, um, I'm calling from Shower 2. Can you please send in my next patient, please? Thank you for calling Love in Furling, Nevada. How can I help you? Hi, this is Dr. McClanahan calling from uh, Shower 2. Okay. Shower number 2. Can you please send in mm -hmm. my next patient, please? I'm ready. I'm ready to see them. Hello. Bad steaks. Mountain. Thank you for calling pilot. Hi, um, I'm in uh, shower number two. Has hey. my doctor arrived yet? Your what? I I went online. I I I found something rather troubling while I was getting undressed to do my shower, and I called for a mobile prostate exam. So the doctor is supposed to meet me here. I don't know if he's been there yet or not. Is he out there? No. Okay, when he comes in, he'll probably have a little black medical bag. Probably, I don't know if he'll have a white coat on or not, but 
Can you send him to shower two when he gets here? Um, okay. It's very important. I, I have a lump in my hole. Okay. So I, I got to get checked out. I want to make sure it's like benign or something like that. I don't want to make sure. Well, I really it's don't like cancer. need to know all of that. But if he shows up, I'll send well, him. Well, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying if he comes in. Well, I mean, if you want to be my doctor, come feel my breast and see if I have no, a lump or not, you. then you can come I'm do that. I'm about ready to well, hang up don't, on you. Well, don't be a bitch then. What was that? Thank you for calling Loves and Winnemucca, store 797. This is Justin speaking. How may I direct your call? Hi. Uh, I got a question regarding the toilet paper in the bathroom. Uh, how how much okay. is too much? Because uh, I've, been, I've been in here for a bit, and, well, uh, I've gone through three rolls. A what? Yeah. Three three rolls? Yeah, I I, uh, I I asked for some some folks to get me more because I have I had a horrible day. And uh, okay, um, and but I I, I couldn't I wasn't able to flush in between, so I don't know. Is this going to be a problem? All right. Like, all right, well I'll might have to plunge it, but that's all right. No worries. You want me there to do go. it? Because I'll happily do it. Like it's a big <laughs> mess because I I made a big mess here. Uh, I'll, I do I'll apologize. Go get you a I, or whatever. Okay. I'll go. I'll go get you. And then the shower situation. You have a shower. I didn't even see if you had a shower here, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have showers too. Yeah. Oh, good. Cause yeah, uh, we're gonna need cleanup crew here. You might want to bring right. the shower to the the toilet. Um. Oh, we don't. Uh, we yeah, can't bring showers gonna, to the toilet. <laughs> oh. But if you're gonna want to though. It's it's on the ceiling. I don't know how, but it got there. I I've never seen it that way myself, but yeah, it was bad. It was pretty bad in here. Okay, I'll uh, I'll go check it out. Not to mention the smell. I I'm surprised it hasn't hit you yet because it's it's atrocious in here. Okay, I'll check it out. You want to check it out out before I flush it? Because maybe maybe we can scoop it out with like a maybe a shovel. Just so it doesn't make a mess, because I don't want to cause a problem here. But I'm really scared. I don't want to. I've never had this happen to me, and you know, I'm really scared that what's going to happen next. Like I don't want to cause a problem if I if I flush it. Don't worry. Then, oh God. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Oh God. Oh. I might have I might have more. Hello? Oh. Hello? Okay. Hello? Yeah. Good Hello? Hello? Hi, yeah. There was a little more. Uh. All right, uh, give me one moment. I don't know where that guy's at. Oh. He's not here. Oh. Uh, there's a little more. There's, there's nobody. Oh, God. There's nobody. Go for it. 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 Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm 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 on my way back to the hotel. Um, my wife, I I I believe I don't know if she's went into labor or she just has uh, I don't know indigestion. But I I don't know what's going on with all these. Like, are there usually crazy drivers around here? I mean, usually there's like not in this general ton area. Of, uh, well, I'm driving down, down this road, road right traffic. now, and there's. There, there's just there's several people driving like the wrong way on this road. There's at least I eight cars I passed right now that are going the wrong way. Okay, I don't I don't that, know what to do about bizarre. it. That is I mean, we have we have people that tend to slow down and, 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 and stare at sight. But one. oh no, it's going the wrong. Okay, that. Oh, shit. Oh fuck.
Sir, are you there? Star, how can I help you? We've detected a crash. Hello? Uh, hello, can, 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 you, can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you just fine. We've detected a crash in this vehicle. Are you okay, sir? Do we need to call emergency services? I, I'm fine. I, uh, I, I, I parked too hard. I hit a curb. Okay. Uh, do you need us to restart the vehicle, sir? Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm fine to drive. Um, like I said, I I just bumped the curb a little bit. Okay, we'll send the restart signal right away. Thank you for using OnStar. All right, let's go. All right. Oh man, drinking. She shouldn't have got this when I've been in the bar. Oh boy. Hello. Uh, wait a minute. OnStar. Hello. Is this OnStar on the phone? Hello, who is this? I, I believe OnStar's hung up. You had called the hotel to report a wrong way driver. Oh, this is the hotel? Yeah, they started my car yes, up sir. again. I'm good to go. Okay, do, do you need us to request this back? Why are, you hon- why, are, why are you honking at me? Stop honking at me, motherfucker. Stupid motherfucker, you want a demolition derby? You want to you want to honk at people? This is what happens to honk at people. Vapor. Uh, 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 this is OnStar. We detected OnStar? another crash. Yeah, the, the the car is upside down. How did it... Sir, how did it... It's a Tesla. I think it's a defect. Do you need towing services? I'm trying to rock my body weight back and forth like a turtle to flip it over. Okay, sir. Do we need to call emergency services for you? No. I think I'll just pick up my Tesla and put it in my pocket, and I'll just walk the rest of the way. Okay. We're going to dispatch emergency services to you, sir. Please hold on. Think of my life. Oh, uh, uh, that's so scary. I hope nobody sees me outside of this road pooping. Uh, uh, Sir, um, it appears on storage called emergency services. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Who is this? Who are you? You're on Star? I don't this, need this, emergency services. This is the hotel. Well, well, on, on, apparently OnStar is calling them for you. you. You called the hotel to report wrong way drivers, and and you you stated that you were in a crash. So I'm asking if you need us to call emergency services. If you need any assistance from I, me, no, I'm I pooping the al- I'm I'm pooping the alcohol out. So when the cops get here, I'll be sober. Oh, okay, sir. 
I, I believe that's how you how it works. Hang on. Okay. Is there is there any is there hang, is there any, is there anything we can assist you with at this time, sir? Oh no, the wheel. I'm trying to warrant if this is even real or not. <laughs> oh, no, I'm in a farm. Oh, okay, sir, if, if, if you don't need any assistance from from the hotel, we're going to hang up at this time. I need assistance with this cow. It's pissed off. <laughs> Calling Darth Valley Night and Candy. This is Vanessa. How can I help you? Vanessa. Yes. Hello. Hello. I've been, I I was on my way to you guys because I was just I've been drinking and I was finding a place to sober up and like chill for the night. And I hit it. I saw two cows at once and I hit it. I hit this fucking cow. Uh, are you sure it's a cow and not a donkey? No, it's a cow. I was in, I was in a barn, and my car is in the barn. Are you? Oh, I hear the cow. Are you in Amagosa? Yeah. Okay. What do uh, I? What do? What do I do? Cause I hit. I hit the you'd barn. You'd have to and call the, the sheriff's office. Cow. You'd have to call nine one one for that. But I, I don't. I saw this this guy on YouTube. He said, "Don't self snitch," and that would be self snitching. Um, maybe I can have you talk to this person over here. Hold on. I, to be honest, I really don't know. Okay. Hey, man, what are you doing to that cow? I'm a fucking murderer. You deal with it. I was, I was trying to resuscitate the cow that I hit. I'm sorry. Hello? Hi. I, I accidentally hit this building. Oh? I hit this cow. I hit this cow. This cow I, I hit the building, and it oh. hit. I hit the oh. building. Where are you? I'm inside oh. of the barn. You're inside the yeah. barn. You crashed through the yeah, barn with the cow. Yeah, I hit one oh. cow, and the other cow is not happy. Oh. Are you trapped? Are you like, no, I got I I got, I got out and I shook the cow and it's, it's laying there. Okay, I'm gonna call somebody for help. Don't go anywhere. Okay. I, I, I you know what? No, you're gonna call someone? No. Yes, I'm gonna call someone. No, Hello? I'm starting the car, but I'm getting the fuck out of here. Mm. I'm getting, I'm getting, start up car, here we go. Mm. I'm gone. No, you need to stay there, I'm going to call somebody for help. Mm. This is Byron. Hey, how you doing? This is Deb. Where are you? Is there a point to this? What's that? How should I know? Excuse me? I don't even know who you are. I'm Debbie. Oh, okay. Did you give us a call or? You didn't tell me why you were concerned. Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, why are you concerned? Concerned about what? Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? About what? Well, why are you concerned? What about? Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? I don't want you to explain it to me. I never asked you to explain it to me. Are you hurt, sir? I said, why are you concerned? Well, you gave us a call, didn't you? Are you still talking? Yes, I am. I'm not yelling at you. I'm talking to you. Everything okay? Why? Why? Why does that concern you? Why does that concern you? Because this is the sheriff's office. That's why. Who cares? 
Okay. So why are you telling me? Because we got a call that somebody got hurt. Are you okay? Why are you concerned? I'm concerned to make sure that you're okay. I want to hear why. Tell me why. Because we got a call that somebody possibly crashed. And why? Why? Yeah, why? Why are you concerned? Excuse me? T name, give me one good reason. Where are you located, sir? That's the point. Who cares? Why are you concerned? Where are you located at, sir? I said, why are you concerned? We need to check on you and make sure you're okay. Yeah, you are. You are. Are you okay? You didn't tell me why you were concerned. Where are you located? Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? Where are you located, sir? Why does that concern you? Why does that concern you? Are you okay? Why? Why were you concerned? You gotta make sure you're all right, man. Yeah, yeah. Why are you concerned? We're concerned. Well, why are you concerned? Okay, we'll give you a call back, okay? Why are you concerned? Good evening. Thank you for calling Dr. Chuba Health in Edmonton, downtown. How can I help you? Yeah, hi, hello? Hello? Yeah, who do I get to thank? Uh, for, I'm in my room, and I we just got in here. And uh, Who do I get to thank? Who put the chocolate holes in here? What was that? So I found the chocolate holes that somebody left in my room for me. Chocolate holes? Which room you are in? Yeah. Uh, 215. I think you're calling the wrong hotel, actually. This is downtown, Double Tree downtown. I think you want to call the western one. No, no, no. I'm no. I'm in uh, on the second floor, number fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm telling you. Trust me. In my hotel in downtown, Double Tree downtown, we don't have two yeah. second floor. Okay, well, can you look up my name and tell me what floor I'm on? The last name's Johnson. You're telling that the the room that you're telling the person is gonna be on the western side, but it's okay. I'm gonna check with you. Okay. But yeah, I I got in here and there's chocolate holes. Um, can I see if you're not with, with me in the hotel? Uh, you said Johnson. Yeah. And your first name is? Kevin. Oh no, you're not here, sir, for sure. You're no, no, I'm hotel. here. I'm here. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm talking. I'm here. I'm here. On, I'm here. I'm here under an alias because I'm a I'm a social degenerate. What's that? I'm a social degenerate. Uh, I really, if you look on YouTube, my 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 uh, YouTube name is Sex Pervert from America, and I'm here doing sex pervert stuff in the room. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just stay with me, just a second, please. Okay. In Beijing downtown Edmonton. How can I help you? Yes, hello. I'm caught between the walls here. Oh, what's the second? A, a poo in the loo. Yes. And when I close the door behind me, oh, when I don't have a light and I, I can't see a thing, I say, and when I try to find my way out, I can't find the door. I'm, I'm stuck and I can't find my way out. Can you help me there? Hello? Good evening, Daisy in downtown Edmonton. Hello? Uh, hello? Hi. Hi there. How can I help you tonight? What you doing? Oh, fuck. What else was it? Hello? Good evening. Thank you for calling Royal West End. How may I just go? Hi. How are you doing tonight? Good. How are yourself? I'm okay. I, I got a little situation, you know, regarding the uh, the dust. I I entered, you know, I entered the room through the hole, and there was, was dust everywhere. In? Was well, room I'm you in? Well, hold hold on, hold on now. It's not so much the room that I'm in that's the problem. It's the room that I was in earlier, and the halls. 
There's a lot of dust kicked up, and I'm not sure if you have dogs staying here. There's a lot of hair. And it was kicked up. I need up. to know what floor or what room is it? Oh, it's the uh, second floor. Uh, near the ice, you know, the, like where the ice machine might go, or laundry, vending machine. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't check in there. I didn't go in there because I wasn't like you know looking to do that right then and there. So, but yeah, we're right there. Yeah. You have a hair dryer. We do yes. Okay, yeah, because the one here in the room. Like, I plugged it in, and sparks were flying out of it when I, you know, I put it in uh, in the sink. I put it in the sink to stop the sparks because I was scared, you know, because it was sparking, and it was making weird noises, going vroom, 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 and then, you know, the sparks were flying out of it, and so I, I you know, uh, I always carry, you know, air duster with me because i got to clean the dust from all the spaces, so I sprayed some of that, and there was a fireball, and went whoosh, you know. It lit, it lit a big fireball, and went whoosh, and it singed my my eyebrows and my the hair on my face. I what room are you in? You know, oh, I'm in the bathroom right now. I'm taking a no a, room you know, number. Oh, uh, my wife was handling that. I don't know. I don't know. She she threw she took everything. She left. No, what room are you know. in? I don't know. Hit and she fucked me. Yeah. Hello? It singed my sack, ma'am. Hello? Hello? Okay. Thank you for calling Ramada. Uh, uh, I'll help you. Hi. Yeah, we got, a, we, got a, uh, we got a little question. Like, if I come there and I rent a room, is it okay if I put, like, you know, like a plastic tarp over everything just so I don't... You know, make a mess because I don't want to get any, any any trouble with the security deposit and all that. It's okay. Uh, so I, I don't think we have that. Um, oh no, I bring like it. That. Can I bring that? And like, I'll bring it. I'll I'll buy one. I'll bring it with me. It's okay if and, I just uh, what you know, you, tarp it. And then, uh, and well, we got what you want we got a lot that? of. Well, the reason you know is because uh, me and my wife we like to you know like to you know take watermelon. And we like to we like to make a fusion smoothie. In the so room. as far as there is no damage to property, you can do whatever you okay. want. It's your room for you night tonight. You have a blender? Do you have a blender? Uh, no, sir. We don't have that. Even the restaurant is closed oh. right now. Otherwise, I would have asked them. Oh, is the restaurant yeah. good? You like the restaurant? Uh, so the restaurant is closed. That's what I was saying. If, if right the when it's open, open, I would when have it's asked open. Them. Right when it's open. Uh, so you like it when it's open? Is it good? Does it smell good? Uh, so it's good, yeah. Yeah, you you eat there? Uh, I have never tried that, sir. Oh, how do yeah. you know it's good? Yeah, because, uh, people say that. <laughs> oh, do you think... Oh, Did you ever eat there? Well, here's my question. When they eat there, how long after does it come out? Because I have to time everything. After uh, right now, right now it's closed. It will be open now tomorrow oh, yeah, morning. Yeah. It's closed right now. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, you know, after you eat it, how long until after, you know, it comes out? I don't have idea, sir. Like, how, like, I have to time everything, all my, all my bathroom, because I, I have to drive, I have to know when I'm going to make, uh, you know, poop. I have to schedule everything. I need uh, to know so how I, long I, after I, I eat I, I, I think you should schedule yourself that, oh. if I was a doctor, I would have told you what to eat after that. It's happening right now. I ate there. Yeah. It took about. Is it the only oh, thing that you wanted to ask, hours. or is there anything else? Well, I just want to let you know it took four hours. It took four hours yeah. for it to come out as of my body. As, as far as the room is not damaged, you can do whatever you want. But how long after you check eat? Before. How long after you eat does it come out? Oh, it's coming uh, out. So, what's your room number? Can you please tell me? Oh, I don't want you to come and see me pooping. No, that's weird. No, I don't man. want to see you pooping because I'm going to write about that in the in my report, you know. What report you're going to talk we don't about take me that shit. defecating? Because we don't take that shit from anybody, right? But I'm just I just wanted to know how long it took. And now I know. It took 4 hours. That's a pretty good restaurant. 
Four hours is pretty good. So I want to know how long after it takes for you. Are you writing a report? What's this? Hello? Is this on the report too? Hello? I wish to make a report. There's feces coming out of my ass. And there's people arguing. Hello? Gondo? My name is Ben. Benjamin Chode? Are you there? My name is Harry. Terry Mackie I have a moment. Uh, can we have a moment of your time to talk and discuss about our Lord and Savior, Machine Christ? Hello? You rusted for Can we have moments to do? Hello? Hello? Hi. 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 How are you doing tonight? Yeah, good. How can I help you? Well, I got a situation. I'm here with my brother. He's on the phone with me. He's driving. He's got, you know, he's got his hands on the wheel. He's being the responsible one, but I've been uh, in, intoxicated, so I have to, cons- I have to concern myself with you now. Uh, uh, we need a room. Yeah, we have available a room. Okay, you have a room for two men, one bed. Uh, I have to double. It's the same price. Or okay, king size, if you need one bed, we have king size. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, king size bed. Then we can ask, get. Her she's, ask her she's got the gay beds. Well, you can, you can ask her. Here, take the phone. Oh, Jesus. Hello, ma'am, do you have the gay beds? Sorry? The gay no. beds. Do you have beds where, where men like me and him can, can touch each other? We have regular rooms with regular beds. When, we want to push the beds together and then have a pillow fight. No, you you cannot push together. We have king size or two double. I want ooh. to push in bed next to him, please. We get the, ooh, we're going to get you double stuff. We're gonna, I'm sorry, I'm busy customer waiting. So we have available rooms, you just come in. Yeah, we're customers buy. too. Why are you... Oh, Super David, I'm shout. Can I help you? Hi. Hi, is this Uluji? Hi. Or Auntie G? No. Oh. Oh, my I friend said the to call number. here. No, no. My no, friend called... said to call here. And you have uh, you have a room that's special for all of us Ulus. No, I'm sorry. I think your friend might have got the wrong hotel. Well, how did I call the wrong hotel? It's right here. Like, I'm standing here. I can see people walking around inside. Hey, look, I'm waving. Do you see me? I'm on the phone. I'm no, waving at you. Hi. I don't, Hi. I don't see Hi. You have to turn. Maybe you have to turn on the window. Open the window. Maybe you don't Sorry, see me. Sorry, I think you're the wrong hotel. Bye. Do I knock on the window? Because if I knock on the window, I've been told that I knock really hard. Thank you for calling Chad on the fucking story. You're home speaking. Hi. Hey, I'm making caca poo-poo in the room. And there's no toilet sorry. paper. What do I do? I'm sorry, you what? what I'm making caca. In? I'm in the bathroom. That's where they put me. They wheeled me in yeah. here. What room are you in? Oh, I don't know. They didn't leave me with the keys or anything, and I'm in the bathroom. I'm stuck here. I'm I'm in the process of making, you know, feces. And there's... What? Who are you with? I'm with the church. They put me in here. I I I, I need to be wheeled in here because I broke my leg. I was I was doing stupid stunts for them. I was doing you know the work of three men. So you're all they alone there. In. Yeah. I was able to get in here, but now I've got a situation on my hands. Quite literally, it's all over the place. What's your last thing? Well, I don't think I'm under, I'm not in here under my name because they wheeled me in here because I was doing, you know, they, they did the repairs on me. 
They wheeled mm, me in here, yeah. but I'm not supposed so to like tell I anybody. I need the oh. room number because I can I can't guess the room number. Well, was, I I remember when they wheeled me in here. What floor are uh, you in? I, I whatever one's the most accessible, I guess. Is that the first floor, maybe? That makes the most sense. Here in the main I don't building. Remember, I don't remember like going up any floors. Were there wind? I mean, so there were like windows. Basically, you know? who are you with in the room? Oh, there's no one here with me. They just placed me here because of the, the the experiments they were doing. It's experimental therapy. I'm not supposed to like talk too much about it. It's through the church though, because they they're funding it all. So they put me up here. Yeah. So who made the reservation for you? Is this a Catholic church? I, I it's under some church. Yeah, it was Church of the Machine. But I don't know who's like running like whose name it's under. I don't know if they're putting it under the church or not. Here, let me put this guy on. He just walked in. He's been handling things like, you know, the medication for me. Mm. Let me put him on with you. Yeah, Maybe can, he knows can, more. Can you, he might work him? for them. Well, no, yeah. he's here. He's here. Let me just, here, let me give him the phone. Hello? 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 Yeah. Can I know what room are you in? It's the front desk. Oh, no, we're not supposed to be using the phone. Did you call him? They, she called me. I I told you not to use the phone. That They're going to kick you out of the room. Who is it? No, okay. What room are you in? Okay. He's recovering. Hello? It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Did, oh, okay. did you, are you, st- is the, I, did you take out your IV? I need to drink it. I want to drink it so good. Oh my god. Okay, everything good? Are, oh my god, you rem- oh No, god, yeah. he's an amputation patient. Mm-hmm. And he's actually removed the attached limb. Mm-hmm. Do you do you guys So it, you want me to call 911? Oh do you do you have a No, it's not an emergency. The limb was dead. He had, was actually suffering from frostbite. Um mm-hmm. and they were trying to save it um to restore circulation, but it looks like it mm-hmm. It's died at some point because, uh, unfortunately, it's not attached any longer. It's basically from the calf down on his left foot. Mm-hmm. Um, so what, I, I how know may that they help you? How, what, what can I do? Happened. Well, th- what they had told us is if this happened, um, I guess they were going to run pathology on it. So they were saying mm-hmm. to put it in a cooler. Do you guys have any sort of, um, like, a cooler yeah, that's can, large can enough? Can I ask what room are you in? What room are you in? I'd right really now? prefer not to say because we're not we're not paying for the room. It's being sponsored. I don't really feel comfortable doing that, but I could come down to the front desk. Okay. Stop picking at it, sir. Stop picking at it. Yeah, yeah, okay. If you can just come down. Take it take, do not put it in your mouth. Do take it out of your mouth. Sir, it's take it out of your jerky. mouth. Jerky, you want some jerky? Oh my God! Can you actually come up here? Uh, no, because I'm all alone here right now. And have you ever seen? Have you ever? Here. But have you ever seen a man eat his own leg? This is like a once in a lifetime. He's really going to town. Hello, Superior Admin. How can I help you? Oh hi. Hmm. Oh. Are you having fun? Oh. Oh. We're we're in. Sorry. We're eating. You are eating? Good. He's eating, yes. Mm. Um, what's your policy on eating? Hello? 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 
Hello. Hello, Irian Sanababi. Hello. Something so much is Hi, I'm here. Um, I'm, here. I no, sh- I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I said I was going to call him. Seven, seven, six, okay, so. you tell okay, him. Go ahead, baby. All right. I'm here, um, and I saw you earlier, and I think you're kind of hot. So just what's the, what's the question? I can hear you well. Oh, um, I'm here, and are you single? The big fat bitch. Shut Louis Hotel, we're just speaking. And he can't defend himself. Hi, um, do you guys know Nunu? Do we have what? Is Is Nunu there? Who? Who? I can sorry, I can't hear you. Nunu, he's an Indian guy who acts like he isn't. He's really Indian, and he's like really self-hating Indian. No, I don't think so. There's yeah, he should be there. He like he took a shit in the street. He told us about the time he took a shit in the street like a dog. Are you talking about the gas in the room? Yeah, his ass in the room. Yes, Nunu. It, it's he's an Indian and um, he doesn't speak. Do you know speak. the ro- Do you he's know the much room of a, number? No, but he he's a chicken. He's yellow chicken, and if he was a man, he would defend himself by talking to us. But his accent is so thick. He doesn't want us to find out that he's actually the one thing he's been making fun of for as long as we've all known him. I Thank you for calling Days In and Suites by Wyndham and Park. Hello? This is Mackenzie. How can I help you? Oh, Mackenzie, thank God you answered. My brothers and I, we've been trying to find the room because uh, we got thrown out of a couple places earlier. We got some situations going on with the tarp and the lube and the vitamins. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. But we're okay. We're, it's not like we're we're crazy or nothing. It's just we got we got accidentally involved. Like we 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 crossed paths with the wrong people all day. Mm-hmm. You know, it was first it was the guy with the vitamins, and he tried you know selling us the vitamins, and we tried to get our money back. But he told the hotel we were we were doing the scam. And we didn't have the vitamins. He stole our money. So then we went. We went. And we had the tarp, and we had the you know the the the, the wrestling and. You know, and then the squirrel came out, if you would believe it. It's the weirdest thing. Unfortunately, I don't have anything available tonight. Oh, why did you listen to all that, then? (laughs) I didn't want to interrupt you, so I let you talk. Okay, thank you for being cordial and and, and doing your job correctly. Thank you so very much. Yeah, no problem. Have a nice night. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. Mix it up, yeah. Hello? Hi. Do Hello? You, you want to know what happens? Hi. Why are you yelling? I'm sorry? You you yelled at me. I um, didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do you normally answer the phone? Thank you for calling Sleep In on Fort Scott. How may I help you? Do you know what happens when you accidentally miss, uh, mix a uh, like a gelatin, like a like a Jello gelatin pack into a toilet? Come on, come on. Coraline Hotel and Spa. Really? Yeah. And and. Coraline Hotel, may I help you? Yeah. I mean, and? What am I supposed to respond to after you say that? What's the normal protocol? How can I help you, sir? 
Well, I, I mean, I'm explaining it. What's the matter? Dude, I'm asleep in bed. If you need to make a reservation or something, I'll be are happy you, to get that. Are you, tu- are, you touch- are, you touch- are you touching it? Thank you for calling Country Inn and Suites. This is John. How may I help you? Thank you Hello, for calling John. Country Inn. How you doing? Pretty good. What can I do for you? Me and my brother, um, we were wondering. We had a we had a couple questions about a certain eating policy that in the room. What's that? Well, like, what kind of things can you not eat in the room, and what kind of things can you eat in the room? Just about anything. Are you sure? Well, what were you thinking that would get you to... Well, Milton's kind of eating right now. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you want a bite of this, man? This is pretty good stuff. Mm-hmm. Have a good it's day. edible. Is that a... Hello? Hi, is this Hello? the hotel? Yes. Hi. Yeah. I I smell myself in the room, and I don't like it. I need another Which room. room? Which room? 215. 215? Yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't say it like that, but yeah, 215. I said it with less, no accent. Then. When are you coming here? No, I'm already here. What, what time? I'm, what do you mean? I'm here now. I'm in the room. Uh, you are right now in the room? Yeah, and it smells like India in here. I need another room. Hold on. Hold on. I'm coming. You said room number 215. Hold on, hold on. Right? Yes, yes. What time you check in? I don't remember. I checked I checked in while I was on drugs. You check in? Yeah. If you check in earlier, how can I can write down room? Uh, you didn't write down my room? I said if you... If you don't like room, how can I change it now? No, it smells like India in here. It smells like it this smells is not like India. farts and curry. This is, not, this, is, this is not India. This is, I know. I can't change your room. Bro. I know. Okay. Why not? I, this is a really bad Teddy Maki Chut situation, Mother Chod. You come front desk first. No, you come my room first. Why? And, and I, and because I, 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 I need to be room. You. You come to my room and ask for you. Hey, Lord Motel, may I help you? <laughs> Hi, um, do you have um any cumin? Huh? Do you have cumin? Because me and Alasma were making tacos in the room for uh big milk. You need the rooms? We need the the cumin, the cumin for Alasma. Does it have and the milk. seasoning? Milk? You need the milk? Yeah. Yes. Can you I got office? the milk. Can you come to office? I need to. Can, huh? you come to office? Can you come to office? No, 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 no. I cannot come. I'm busy cooking right now. I you can't leave to... the taco because it will burn. Taco? Taco Bell? No, stupid. We're making tacos in the room. Oh, oh, no. I come, I come, I come. You coming? This is Byron. Uh, you call me? I'm from Holiday Lodge Motel. You call me? Is there a point to this? Okay, what happened? The room. How should I know? Huh? Which room number you call? 
I don't even know who you are. I'm from Holiday Lodge Motel. You call me? Oh, okay. And you asking to I make taco, I make taco. You didn't tell me why you were concerned. Yeah, I'm working front. Yeah, yeah, why are you concerned? Okay, what do you want you need? Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? I am from Holiday Lodge Motel. I'm working the office. Why are you concerned? Which room do you stay? Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? Somebody called me here. I, I don't want me. you to explain it to me. I never asked you to explain it to me. Okay, that's wrong number. Maybe somebody called the same number. I said, why are you concerned? Where is concerned? Are you still talking? I'm staying in the office. I'm not yelling at you. I'm talking to you. Okay. Okay, all right. No why? why? Why does that concern you? Why does that concern you? Somebody called me here. Who cares? Which number you stay? So why are you telling me? I don't know. You call me. Why are you concerned? Thank you for calling Lucky in Tainance with. How may I help you? Yeah, hi. I I'm, I'm in I'm in my room, but the, huh? it it keeps like op the door keeps opening and people keep coming inside and they say press 2 for me please. I I don't know what's going on. Press 2, you say? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in my room. I was unpacking and then someone just opened my doors and they came in and they said please press 2. I'm going I'm going to 2. And then my doors closed, and then they just stayed in there, and then they went out. That's uh, strange. Um, and there's a beeping. Like, there's a beeping sound. Like it's it's kind of like I'm in my room right now, and mm -hmm. it feels like I'm moving, but I don't I don't know. And my doors are opening. Why is my door opening? Um. Oh, let me check. Uh, what room number you are in? Uh, well, this one, it says here, lobby, two, three, four. I don't know which room that is. I mean, what room number you are in right now? I, the one that makes the beeping sound, the ding, when I'm going up and down. The elevator are you in room? The, are you in the elevator? Well, that's my room. You guys said that that's my room. You said, here, go in, the, go in there and, and then go to your room. So I'm in here, and people keep coming in. Okay, where are you right now? I'm in my room. I'm in the elevator room. In the elevator room? Yeah, my room. My mobile room. Just a second. Okay. So, mobile room as in, you're not in elevator, correct? I'm on top of the elevator. Okay, just a minute. Okay. Top of the elevator, as in, as in, are you in the second floor? You said. Yeah, yeah, I'm on, I'm on top of the elevator. So second floor, am I right? I, you know, you know the inside of the elevator. Uh huh. I'm on, I'm on top of the elevator. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up here on top of the elevator. On top of the elevator, as in inside? Yeah, on the on the top of it. Yeah, in the shaft. How you have been there? I mean, I you above there, above in the elevator. There's a panel, and I pushed it up, and then I did a muscle up, and I pulled myself up top, and then I shut the I shut the hatch, and then I started unpacking my clothes. I unpacked my shirts and my suitcase and my little panties.
I don't know. Is it is it something wrong that I I am understanding or are you actually on the top no. of the elevator which I'm on top of the I'm on top of the elevator and I'm getting motion sick. I might throw up uh, into the elevator. Okay, so are you in the right oh. right side elevator or the left side, left one? Yeah, I I think I'm in the right the right side. Okay, let me see. I have called the right one, um, the bottom. Uh huh. So is that working? Is it going down? Is it coming down? I think so. I'm not sure. All I know is I'm getting a motion sick up here. Oh no. Oh. Are you okay? Where are you? I'm on top of the elevator. Top of the elevator. Yeah. Just a second. Just hold on. I'm trying, but you guys keep pushing buttons. It's moving up and down. Now I'm getting very motion sick. Oh. Oh. I guess I'll, I guess I'll just watch porn on my on my phone while I'm up here. Um. Oh. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. Yeah. Are you in Lakinda? Oh. What? Are you in the Lakinda Hotel? The hotel. I'm in the hotel. You are in the hotel. There's a robot. What? I'm in. I'm in the shaft. Which shaft? The shaft of the elevator, and there's a skeleton up here. Rep on the shaft. I, where, I checked. Where, I, I, there's a skeleton up here, and I, che I checked his ID, and it says his name is Chester Copperpot. Okay, in which Pittsburgh you are in right now? I'm in. I'm in the I'm in the shaft. In which I mean in which um I'm climbing I'm you? climbing I'm climbing the cable. I'm climbing the cable up. I'm climbing up like a little monkey. The so in which in which Lakinta you are in? Yours. What you I mean which city? Which which city? Is it Which city? Uh huh. Your city. Your city. No, which city? What is the name of the city? The city. Big pussy city. It's it's Pitts it's Pittsburgh. No, I checked both the elevators. There's no one up there. So I'm up here. There's a bunch of men up here with me too. You can't oh, tell me I'm not up here. Come on. There's a bunch of men. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, This man's angry. This man's an angry one. Okay. Um, just a second. Let me see in the system. Check this in the system. Yeah. There's been a shaft accident. Oh my god. 
Yeah, just a second. Let me see. Just a second. No, it wasn't an accident. A man just crashed into my butthole. Back to my shaft. Did you feel good? I did. I I bit the pillow. He's he biting it. Too. You got a big one. How would you get in my you shaft? You have a big shaft. Bite the blow so you don't scream. Shaft. My, I have a big shaft. Mm-hmm. They call me Shaft. Man. Okay. Um, can you can you do one thing for me? Can I turn the elevator off and back on? Is that where we're going? No. Can you just yeah. um, um, call the police so that they can help you out? Because I can't even um, no, no. see where you I'm are, where the exactly you are. I'm up here flipping the switches now. I'm up, I'm up here flipping the switches. Uh, Sorry, what? Oh, that's not a good. That's not a good switch. Hang on. Let me turn that back off. Oh, oh I turned it back on. Hang on. All right, let me flip it. Let me flip this. Okay, that that shut it back off. Okay, I turned it off and back on again. What do I do now? Hello. Hello. Uh, are you there, motherfucker? Hello. Hey. Only well, we took a little bit of the devil yelling at. Hampton and Cat, why is Cat Hampton concerned? Katie. Hi, Katie. My cat. My cat. She she got out. Of the hotel. Out of the, out of the room. Um. Well, where did it's she very go? Very concerning. I'm not sure. And I don't think a bobcat should really be out this late. Um, okay. What room are you in? 215. On the second floor? Okay, give me just a second. What's the name on your room? Uh, last name is Johnson. Um... Okay, I don't have you in room 215. Okay, what room do you have me in? Um, I'm sorry, but I feel like you should know this, and I feel like this is a prank call. What? No, what I, room are you in? I don't. I don't remember. I've been drinking. I'm in. I believe I'm in 215. Thank you. For, thank you for calling the Mountain Inn. How may I assist you? Hey, Hello? um, I got a problem in the room. I have a problem in the room. Yes, what's the problem in the room? Um, there's a little fucking squirrel in here and it's running. Okay. And I gave it a little peanuts. Um, the room, the, the squirrel coming and going in the room and a and a cat, a kitty cat coming back, a pussy cat. Yeah, well, we have those there. We have, we have... We got a lot of squirrels looking for penis, peanuts. We like to call them penis here, and a lot of puss, a lot of pussy cats. So that happens. It's unfortunate. That's part of the deal. You sign up when you get here. You're going to get a squirrel, a peanuts, and a kippy kitty cat. So, all right. You fucking idiot! You got a pussy cat in the room. Come getting oh, a yeah. fucking cat, you fucking motherfucker! You. That's right. I am a fucking motherfucker. You're absolutely right. So, thank you. You for get on your knees I- and you kiss my feet. Yeah, that's going to happen. Well, listen, it's really I'll nice talking to you. I'll see you in hell sooner than later, homeboy. Okay, good. Nice talk, coach. Bye-bye. I'm a kitty cat. <laughs> um, the, the, I am the uh, devil. I want to bring this gentleman to your hotel. Oh, the guy, he came and he come by the demons, and he's fucking me. Tell him to stop and go slow, please. Tell him to stop it. <laughs> Thank you. To send your message, press 3 or hang up. Ladies and friends, how can I help you? Um, there's a problem in the room. I I have something. What's the room number? 215, but curse the, the, my friend Kat, she loves Satan. She's a Satanist, and my friend Alasma... And Dwight playing with the Ouija board. And all of a sudden, 
Dwight's eyes go back in his head, and all I can see is the white, and he punches Cat in the stomach. And now Elasma and him are in the room, and he's talking what? like this, man. We don't know what, we don't know what to do. Ah, bring me the soul. What happened? Bring me the soul of the front desk. Bring me the man. I'm coming. I'm coming to room. He. Ah, I want he to wants you. He wanting you. I'm I'm coming. What I'm coming to your room. I will bite the He pillow. told me if you're coming and I get you to come to the room, he will give me Hello? whatever I desire. Sir? Hello? You will be a rich man. Bring me the front desk. Please come to the desk. Bring me this man. Hello? The he goat. wants you. The goat is the pet of the devil. Where are Bring you, sir? We playing with Ouija board, and then Dwight Bring coming him. up, and the person in him is not him anymore. It's Satan. Bring him. Come to the front. Sir, Come some sound me. is coming. What Bring is that sound? Uh, That's soul. him, man. That's him. He's scaring me. I want his soul. What is that sound, sir? I will eat this man's soul. He's Hello? going to eat me, man. He's going to eat me. Bring me what? one of his men. No, sir. What is that sound? Oh, I want the front desk, man. Sir, who He's is that? Fucking He's fucking me. He's fucking me. Sir, who is that? Oh. Oh. Hello? Oh. Yes? Who is that? Who is that? Oh. That is the ghost. He's inside of Dwight. He's a getting coming and he's going hard. Uh, yes, yes. Ghost is there in your room? Uh, yes. Hello? He's a man and he has a I big dick and he's hurting me. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. No, don't come here. I will have your soul. <laughs> no. Happy Bear Motel? Oh, hi. I'm having a happy hi. day. Oh, We're having a happy day together in the room. We just want to know if you want to join us. We have wine no, and cheese. It, no, sir. No, sir. Hey. It feels really good. He feels really no, good. No. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, we have thank Jello. you. Thank you. Thank you. And we have Gand and Ulu. Please, coming. Come, come inside of me. We can show it all night. I took in a pill and my pee pee is really big for like four hours. Come on, man. Come on, you want to join us? The more the merrier. We're all getting drunk in here. Come on. Hi. Milkman needs to fuck. <laughs> oh, our sack is swollen too, daddy. Yeah. Uh, Milkman, are you going to fuck me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, come here, you little rock. Let me uh, see that. Now bend over. Go slow okay. this time, Milkman. Oh, it hurts. Okay, okay. Uh, 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 I said go slow, you motherfucker. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, Milkman, damn you. Ah, 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 fuck me. Ah, 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 ah. Would you like to come up and see the show? It's free. I think he's touching himself, man. He's liking he's it too much. He's making weird noises. streams. Thank you for calling. Um, I have a problem in the room. What room number? Um, well, I don't want to tell you yet because we did something and I don't want you to get mad at us, man. What room number? I'm not telling you the room. I want to know if it's okay what we did, man. If is it okay? What? Um, Kat brought the Ouija board and she playing it in front of Dwight and then, um... Dwight all of a sudden became a demon and he's got a asthma by the neck and he started kissing his neck 
And we all laughing and joking, and then he bites him in the neck, man. And Dwight's still right here. He's crazy. He's he's making love to to a asthma. Do you hear them making love? The blood of the non-believer. Let me call the pops still. Give me this blood. Give me the blood of the front desk man. No, no calling the police. He wants to talk to you. He wants to talk to you. Hi. Oh, I want the blood of the front man. The front desk man. Give me his blood. I will. He's wanting you to come to the room. Give me. Give me the flesh of the man from the front desk. If you want to live. Uh, can, can, you, can you talk to him for me, man, or no? Oh. I can... Uh, I cannot come, but I can call cops. Why are you going to call the cops, you fucking idiot? We just need you to come to the room. Why I need to go over there? Why I need to come over there? Because he wanting to talk to you, man. He wanting to talk to you. Fucking no listen. Okay, let me call cop. Okay. Room number. Oh my God, man. We don't need you. What room number? Just coming to. No, I'm not telling you nothing, man. Because you need to come to the room. My friend wanting to talk to you. Your soul is out. Flawless victory. Even Jeffy. Hey, um, I'm in the truck in the back. I'm in the truck in the back. Okay. Um, the blue truck that says big trucking. I have a little, you know, compartment in the back of my truck. It it has a space for me to sleep. Okay. Well, this guy named Dwight came and he started playing the Ouija board inside my truck. Okay. And he wanted me to get you to come talk to him. Okay. You don't even know my name, so how's that? He's on the phone right now. <clears throat> that's okay. He's on the phone right now. He's going to talk to you. No, that's okay. I am the truck now. Guy, man. I am now the truck. I command all roads. 18 wheels. Steaming up your asshole. Bring me the diesel fuel and feed me. Or I will eat the soul of your... Good evening, Come Beast. How may I help you? You say your name is Come um, Beast? Hello? Um, I was playing with the Ouija board in my truck in the back, and now there's a, the truck is talking on my phone with me. Okay. I think the spirit of Dwight is in my phone. Huh? Don't speak of me to this wench. She's going to think you're insane. Um, I'm playing the Ouija board in my truck because I wanted to see if my wife is cheating on me. And I asked the spirit, please talk to me. And now the spirit is in my phone. And I cannot get it out. Nobody is going to believe you. You're insane. Okay. Um, I, do you know what to do? Put the key nope. in the truck's ignition. Stick and drive, no motherfucker. Um, can you hear that or is it me? Am I going crazy? Uh, yes. No, I can drive. hear it, but... Put it in there. Oh, drive. you can hear that person? You can hear the demon? Is the Simpsons predicting? Huh? Jessica. Yeah. Jessica. Yes. Um, I, me and my wife Kat, we playing the Ouija board with our friend Dwight, and all of a sudden something happened, and um, I don't know what to do. And you're calling a pilot, Jay? Well, yeah, because we're parked outside. We're in the big truck on this side. And what happened? Um, our friend Dwight, uh, he's playing the Ouija board, and all of a sudden his eyes turning all white. Mm. 
Really? And he's talking like a demon. He's, yes, he's talking like a demon now, and we don't know what to do. Uh, I want to play with the Ouija board. <laughs> he's right here on the phone. Can you hear him? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I want to play with the Ouija board. Thanks for calling us to a three in Oklahoma City. Mike speaking. Hey, how may I help oh, you? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, there's a demon in my throat. Give me your fucking soul, motherfucker. How quiet. Hello? Thank you. Summon me here. Now you... Call me. Hi. Call um, me, you guys hung up me when I was trying to talk. You're, are you listening? Can you hear me? Stop calling here. Hello. Yes, hi. Did you just call here? Hello. Yes, did you just call here? Yeah, can you speak a little louder, please? Did you just call here? Who's calling? Someone just called me from this number talking about a Ouija board. Let, let me press the button. Hello? J just a minute now. Huh? Someone just called Cumbies from this number talking about a Ouija board? All right. I can hear you a little better. Someone just called here talking about a Ouija board. All right, now who are you? I'm calling from Cumberland Farms in Rutland. Are you? It, yeah. Where are you calling from? Rutland, Vermont. Did, did you come all the way? Yeah, they must have. Hello? 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 Someone called Cumbies? My name is Nikki, but I have a missed call from this number. Yeah, someone just called Cumbies from this number. Why does that concern you? Uh, because I'm working and someone just called here from this number. Why are you concerned? Wow. <laughs> <laughs>